It's erosion that has made this coastline so special, shifting and shaping it over millions of years. But recent landslips here have brought spectacular and sudden change. Just this week, one cliff collapsed near Durdledor. In the southwest of England alone, there have been more than 30 landslips this year. Geologists blame the exceptionally heavy rain we had over the winter. Begin with live pictures of wildfires so fast and furious they have turned parts of California into a tinderbox. On the ground, mothers rush their children past a schoolyard as the fire descends. Firefighters straining against those powerful winds on the front lines. Listen to what they're hearing. You could see that tree snapped like a matchstick. The fire in the hills and canyons north of Malibu is being driven by record-breaking high temperatures and strong Santa Ana winds, bringing 50 mile per hour gusts of warm air to ground already suffering from a dry winter. This fire has already burned more than 6,000 acres in the Camarillo area and forced some residents of both Camarillo and Thousand Oaks to evacuate. Fuel moistures are already up to the levels they should be in July. We're having Santa Ana events in May, which is an event like this is, it hasn't happened in my career. I think we may be looking at a very uh, significant fire season. Hardly any rain has fallen in California so far this year, making the state as dry as it would be usually in autumn, when wildfires are usually at their peak. tale of two nations tonight, fire and ice, as I mentioned. And look, in the west, helicopters in the air this evening, firefighters on the ground there doing battle with the powerful flames. And then this image tonight from the heartland, Wisconsin, believe it or not, a blanket of snow in May. And while those fires rage in the west a few hundred miles to the east, it is record snowfall on this second day of May. It's a big storm and it has the potential to dump an unprecedented amount of snow on the region for so late in the season, up to a foot in some areas. So we want to get right there. In Minnesota, where we had a state record 18 inches in Blooming Prairie, tons of heavy wet snow went through here, all sorts of problems on the roads, even buildings collapsed there. That is one of three states yesterday that set set state snowfall records. Rice Lake in Wisconsin, 17 inches. Britt, Iowa, 11 inches. Moines it's snowing, and it's not just the snow, it's also the cold. Take a look at these temperatures. It's 30 in Amarillo this morning. We've seen hundreds of record lows over the past couple of days. To the south, there's a storm system that's part of this whole mess. It's going to be pushing in. Some areas in southern Florida picked up 10 inches of rain yesterday. And then what we're looking for over the next 24 hours from New Orleans into Louisiana, into parts of Florida, anywhere from 5 to 7 inches of rain. So we've got... At least 18 people have died and four are missing in Saudi Arabia after nearly a week of heavy rain that has triggered flash floods in the desert kingdom, the civil defense authorities said on Thursday. Rescue teams evacuated six villages in the southwestern Bisha province after a sand dam at the valley of Tawala partially collapsed. Authorities have been urging people to avoid valleys and plains flooded by heavy rainfall, which has continued since last Friday. At least 250 rescue officers have been deployed, along with 15 divers, at the Al-Aqiq Dam. The inability of Jeddah's infrastructure of drain of floodwaters, as well as uncontrolled construction in and around the city, were blamed at the time for the high number of victims. A fishy situation developing along the Treasure Coast this morning. Thousands of dead mullet have been washing up along the west bank of the Indian River Lagoon. Wildlife experts aren't quite sure what's causing it, but they do plan to have crews out there this morning collecting samples to be taken back for testing. The results of those tests should be back sometime next week. A huge tornado has struck the Emilia-Romano region of northern Italy. Amateur footage from small towns near the regional capital of Bologna showed the storm tearing through the countryside. 
farmers who were caught out in their fields were blasted by the winds, as well as pummeled by a barrage of hailstones. Eccolo là. Eccolo là dov'è? Madonna! Italian media reported 11 people wounded and damaged several properties. The governor of Emilia Romana has asked the central government to declare a state of emergency. For people living here, when it rains, it pours. Around the same time, a 3.8 magnitude earthquake was detected in nearby Ferrara. An astronomical treat for people in Japan, the cause of the excitement on the country's southern island of Okinawa was a sun halo, which are rare for the area. People stopped in the streets to observe the spectacular sight. Sun halos form when frozen ice crystals in thin clouds refract sunlight high into the sky. A volcano has erupted in the Philippines, killing five people from a tour group climbing the mountain. Four of the victims are said to be German, the fifth is a Filipino guide. Seven others were injured when Mount Mayon, one of the most active volcanoes in the country, sent a cloud of ash and rocks hundreds of meters into the sky in an eruption that lasted just over a minute. The authorities say 27 hikers were on the volcano at the time. One said it suddenly started raining rocks like in hell.